me just briefly say that I think we're going to finally be able to address this to some extent in the Congress. Up until now, uh, it's been very difficult because, you know, the President and the Vice President refused to admit that there were any, you know, human contributions to global climate change. There are climactic changes that are so-called natural, but we have so changed the atmosphere that it has a kind of ripple effect. So it's sort of like, Yes, there are natural reasons why the climate may get warmer, but we've put so much CO2 into the atmosphere that that changes the natural forces and so on and so forth. So, of course, global climate change is real and it is a threat. Now, what we have to do is create the political consensus, which we're working on now, to get the private sector in America to support these changes and to get the politics to change itself so that we can make laws that will improve our conditions. There are several things that I am advocating. I believe we've got to take a strong stand on limiting our dependence on foreign oil. And we have... We have a perfect example right here in Iowa about how it can work with all of the ethanol that's being produced here. And, and, and there now across the country lots of work being done to uh, create what's called cellulosic uh, ethanol out of things other than corn. And in our state of New York, I've been working with one of our universities to do that with fast-growing willow. And we can use, you know, farm waste and other uh, homegrown elements to begin to power our cars, to change the way that we uh, use gasoline. But we also have to look to our car manufacturers to get higher gas mileage in our cars. And you know, there are ways of doing that that are not going to further undercut our auto industry, but they've got to be willing to do it. And I hope that in this next year, we're going to see more willingness on the part of our President and our Congress. The President can do some things, as he said, in the State of the Union, but I think we can do even more than that. I also think we've got to change the way we produce electricity. We've got to clean up our old coal-burning utilities and get them to be cleaner because they're spewing so much mercury and CO2 in the air. So I've proposed what I call a strategic energy fund that would be funded by taking away the subsidies from the oil companies. I don't believe we should be subsidizing the major oil companies. And, if we took that money and put it into this strategic energy fund, we could massively invest in the best ideas to further biofuels and biodiesel and get solar cheaper and more commercially available and make wind more accessible and look at geothermal and look at hydropower, look at all of the alternatives. But I think this will take a public-private partnership, and I was very happy the other day to see some of our biggest industrial companies, like GE, stand up and say to the government, I'll impose standards and caps on the amount of CO2 going into the air. That was a very important announcement, because then we can turn to the administration and the Republicans in Congress and say, your supporters, big business leaders of some of the great companies in America now are willing to do what you will not do, which is to put the United States back into the lead on controlling the climate change debate. We have been missing in action, and we're going to get back and do what needs to be done.